Hey folks, Junior the Boss here, coming at you with another World of Warcraft add-on video. And today we're going to be talking about rematch. Now folks, let me just say up front that I've been saying that I'm going to put this video out for like a month and a half now. Well, I'm finally getting it done, so get off my booty, Ratuti. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The link will be down in the description below. All right, so <clears throat> once you have it installed, it's gonna be a little icon that's gonna be near your mini map. Of course, mine's a little different because I use Sync UI, so it's gonna be wherever your uh, mini map icons are. Just go ahead and open it and you are shown this right here. Now. You don't technically have to use the separate uh, add-on. You could actually just open up your uh, pet journal and it's going to give you the same options as far as rematch if you have this checked. But for the purpose of this video and the way that I like it set up, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use the, the rematch add-on itself. So there's many things that go on with this uh, add-on there's many things to it the main thing that people use this add-on for is for the teams okay so you can have different uh, groups I have mine set up as just a general kinda I'm just throwing everything in there then I have the menagerie for my warlords of Draenor uh, garrison area then I have Tanan jungle and then I have Pandaria now I did have a few more, but I've been deleting them and cleaning them up a little bit and putting them in different areas. We will go ahead and walk through how to do that as well. Um, it's very simple, but we're going to start from the beginning. So the beginning tab is the pets tab. Now, if you don't want to have it wide like this, you technically can undo that so that you do not see the the big old pet team section or where you're current team is right now I personally like it that way so that I can see the big picture of of what everything is and that's the way that I have it alright so the first tab here is the pets tab now this is where you can search for your pets like let's search for Wee Bomb um, you can search for your pets even by the filter so if you want to show only the ones that you've not collected you can do that as well same thing that you can do in the regular blizzard one as well but this makes it a little bit more ease of use type of options um, so now you let's say that you do not want to search for any of you know these particular ones you just click on the one that you want to actually search for and then you call it a day now these are the types of pets that there are you can actually do the strong verses so let's say you're looking for something that's very strong against humanoids you know humanoid pets uh, these are the ones that are going to be towards that then you have the tough verses so that's what you're going to do there I don't really use the strong and the tough tabs just because it's not something that I really feel the need to do. However, it is there if you need it. This is the tab that's the big humdinger of, hey, I have a team and I don't want to forget that team because this is the team that works best for this particular pet battle that I'm looking to do. Uh, to, so to add a group. To, to add a new tab, you just hit the plus sign. You create the new tab, n give it an icon, whatever you want to give it. We've got the ones that we want, so we're not going to add another one. If you want to add a team to a group, all you have to do is go back over to the pets, drag and drop the pets that you want to be in the team, and then hit save as, and it'll ask you, what do you want to name this team as? So we're just going to put test so that I remember to remove it <laughs> and then you could put the target as whatever you want usually if you're targeting something it'll put their name in there so you won't have to worry about it 
Uh, and then you choose the tab that you want to put it in. So we're going to put it in the general tab because that's the way I want it to be. Now, it also has an option for notes. So if we hit the check mark here, so once you have the save notes checked and the preferences too, just hit save for the save team. And the reason why I put this note there here is because I actually had my other team as a target and I just pretty much moved the current pets that I wanted to be in there. So in this situation, it probably would not happen unless you already have a team set up. So just so you guys are aware. It normally does not come with notes, so in th what I really would do is I would actually not uh, have this checked. That way when you go save, it has no notes. Then you just right click, set notes, type in Shockley Blur, Shockley Blur, Shockley Blur, and you're done. And that's it. And then you hit save, and now you have a note that you can follow anytime you do a pet battle with this particular team okay now the teams part is very it's very crucial it really is because it makes it easier and faster to get the teams if you've pre-built a team and you've written it down what your teams are so that you don't forget this add-on makes it to where you don't have to do that the ease of use of this add-on is unbelievable. It makes us pet battlers lazy is what it does. Uh, and that's the honest truth. Once you've created the, the team, you have two options. You can come into rematch and click on it. Uh, you can mouse over the target or you can target the pet battler that you're going to be doing the pet battle against. It just depends on what you have your settings set at in the options and we'll go ahead and look at that in a little bit so that about does it for the teams now let's say that you have a current team but you're wanting to switch the pets out because you have found a better strategy all you have to do is target the team that you want to change go over to pets find the pet that you want to uh, change to drag it and drop it into whichever one you want to change it to and then hit save and then that will ask you are you sure that you want to override from this pet group to this pet group in this case I definitely do and now it's changed it's that simple I mean the instructions on this there there really is none uh, mainly because it's kinda once you learn it you kinda learn it it's it's meant for people that just wanna get their pet battling done and move on is really what it comes down to so the next tab, this is the cool tab. So as you can see here, I'm not going to click over to it just yet. As you can see here, we have some, uh, some up arrows, which means leveling pet. Now, you can put any leveling pet in there. In fact, this add-on does it for you. Let's say that you have right now just a random leveling pet when you're battling the pet battler. It will put a pet in there for you automatically, and once that pet is level 25, it will automatically switch to another pet. And it's just that simple. It automatically does it for you. It'll swap out the level 25 that you just leveled and input a level that's lower. Um, and that's it. And that's where this Q tab comes from, right? So this Q tab is the pets that you want to level up now there's a bunch of settings and options that we're going to be going over some of them not all of them we're going to be going over the ones that i find useful uh, and the ones that i might find useful down the road i don't use all of them i only use some of them so one of them is anytime you learn a pet from a cage from the auction house from wherever you got the pet from it will say in chat that it has been added to your leveling queue anytime that you've done that now there's different parameters to get that to happen and we'll go over that as well I personally like this that way there's always a constant uh, group of pets that need to be leveled so as we showed over here in the teams some of these have the up arrow so that way you can uh, level the pet I mean that's what it comes down to this is what rematch is about you want to level the pets as fast as you can with the groups that you use all the time so that you never have to change your groups unless you find a better team 
that's pretty much what rematch does. It just makes it faster so that you're not wasting time is really what it is. And that's where the queue comes in, and I love it. I love the fact that I can just put all the random pets that I have in here in there. If I want to reload the pets, I can actually do that too. If I want to change the where the pets are, I can do that too right from here. Uh, if I want to move uh, this up, I can just drag and drop and move it up to the top. I mean, it's just that simple. You can pretty much make it to whatever queue line that you want to make it at. I just let it be just because there's always so many pets that need to be leveled that it's not going to matter what when they get leveled because they're eventually going to get leveled. Um, and that's just the bottom line. That's just what it comes down to. So hopefully the this part of the add-on um, will help you as well uh, it definitely has helped me so let's go over the options yeah <laughs> because the options are really the options are are the humdinger like these are this is where you set it up so that way rematch functions to you and only you so the auto load the auto load is when you mouse over a new target that has a saved team that's not already loaded, of course, immediately loads it, which is true. If you have it targeted as you're setting up the group and then let's, let's say you target something else that also has a group, it's going to switch to that target. So with the mouse over, it makes sure that when you go up, like say in the menagerie where you have to right click to start the pet battles, as soon as you mouse over, it's going to auto load the team that's specific to that. As long as you have a team created. If you do not have a team created, then it will just use the current team that you have in your, uh, in your main window of your three pets. Whatever the team was the last time you did pet battles is what it would be. Uh, now, as far as the, that's just the targeting options there are many many other ones like the preferred window that's really up to you whether you want it to be minimized standalone maximized standalone or in the pet journal that's where i was showing you where you could put a tick in the rematch in the pet journal and it would be built into there i personally don't like that because i like to be able to move the window around so i leave it like this all right, the standalone window options, again, it's really up to you. You can customize it to where the anchor is here, there, or the other. I think I have my anchor uh, here. So if I go like this, it goes, you know, up into that corner there. So you can minimize it if you don't want to have the entire thing. So for me personally, I like it to be fully extended and open so that way I can actually see what's going on. And that's the standalone. So let's go ahead and go to the appearances. Now, I don't really mess with any of this other stuff except for the color pet names by rarity. Uh, that pretty much just tells me, hey, this is blue. This is rare. Then I have a you know an uncommon one and a common one. I, that's the only reason why I use that, so that I can see if I have to upgrade it or not. The toolbar. Uh, that is the reverse toolbar button. So if I go like that, it actually changes these up here. See now this is in the middle. I like the revived battle pets to be in the end. It really doesn't matter. It's your own preference of where you want them to be. There's many other options as well. And you'll see that there's plenty of options throughout this whole thing, folks. I don't use them all just because I like things to be a certain way. But you may find that you need to have like say the move toolbar option to the bottom you might like that better i personally don't so you know again these these options are meant for you to change to be for your liking uh the safari hat reminder is no we're not going to say that all right so let's go on to the next now here's the thing that for me makes it much easier so let's say you've got a pet group and you've got notes you're not going to remember the particular abilities that you have to use at the particular time so that's what this is for once you put them in your notes again these are the notes once you put them in your notes you can have the notes be kept on the screen uh, so when you start the pet battle it will start up with the notes as well which is good 
Uh, and that's what this is right here, the show notes in battle. So the notes are a big deal, and that's why I have the show notes in battle available and showing anytime I go into a battle and I have a pre-made team and I have the notes that I've created for that team as well because I don't know about you, but I don't remember every single ability, every single tactic that I have to use per pet battle. So that's what the notes are for. I like to have them on the screen anytime uh, I'm in a pet battle. So that's what that's for. Now the team options, I don't really use anything. You're more than welcome to go through the settings and figure out what works best for you. Leveling queue options. So this is the thing where I was talking about earlier where it um, will automatically level new pets and I have it set to only rare pets. Now you can have it set to anything. I have it set to rare because at this point I really only want to level the rare pets first and then I can start leveling the other ones because eventually they will be rare once I make them rare. Uh, you also have the double click to send to the top. So if you are here and you double click, it sends Crush to the top, which is good. I don't really use that all the time, but it's there if I need to have it. The pet filter I really don't use as far as the options here are concerned. Again, you want to make these uh, work for you. And the miscellaneous ones, you have the use mini map button is the one that I use. So if I uncheck that, it takes it away. I want it to be there. Uh, keep companion. This means that if you mouse over something, it'll switch your team, which it summons a pet in your team. And then this makes it to where it unsummons it. I actually like that because I don't always want to have a pet on my side. So that's where we go with that. And then of course the use default pet journal. Now folks, every other option that is in here, you pretty much can make this do what you want, when you want it, and anytime you want it. You don't have to keep it my way. That is just what works for me. So that's why I have those particular settings. Now the last thing that I wanna go over is the top part. So we're gonna go from left to right. Here you have the total pets that you currently have, the unique pets, and then if you look in the tooltip there, it actually says the same thing, and you can have up to a thousand pets, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you click it, it will give you a display of what pets, how many pets of each type of pet, each source pet, whichever one you want to choose, it'll tell you, you know, your current pets that you have as far as the stats of how many you have, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I mean, I don't really use this, but for all you statistic folks out there, this is probably for you. <laughs> and that's all I can say. This is your achievements, obviously. It opens up the achievements when you do it, specific for the pet battling. Uh, this is if you want to summon a random pet from all of them where you left click for random favorite and then right click from for random from all of your pets. I don't really use that because again, I don't really like having the pets on my side all the time. Pretty much only when I want to have the pet, do I pull a pet out and I don't use this for that anyway. Uh, and then these two options here, well these three really, cause they go hand in hand. These are always here. Even if you don't have the item, it will be here, but it will be grayed out. So these are for your pet treats, your lesser pet treats, and your safari hat. And then this other one is obviously the bandages, where if this is on cooldown, you would use the bandages. Or if you never use the revive battle pets, then you always have your bandages there anyway. But I'm pretty sure that most people use this as well. So, and that's about it, folks. I mean, you can lock it in place so you can't move it. Other than that, this is that video. It is a little longer than what I wanted it to be, and I do apologize, uh, but there is definitely a lot to this add-on. Well, hopefully this was helpful, folks. I know it's been helpful for me to have the add-on rematch. Um, I honestly would not ever be doing pet battles if I did not have rematch or something similar. Um, I know that there is another similar add-on out there, but it's not been updated in a long time and it does not do anything half of what Rematch does. So hopefully this was helpful folks. Take care. See you in the next one. And bye. And there we go folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. You can also hit me up on Twitter at Junior to Boss TV. If you have more time, check out my last video by clicking here and Junior to Boss out.